of Evening Calm by Fumio Kuno is a fascinating and powerful text for a number of reasons. Firstly, for its subject matter. The relatively short strip, only 35 pages, follows the last few weeks in the life of Minami, a woman that is one of the survivors of the nuclear bombing at Hiroshima. The lighthearted style of drawing is betraying as Kuno wraps childish images with horrific recountings. This is especially true in the manga's pivotal scene. Minami is walking with her co-worker, Uchikoshi. Uchikoshi has brought Minami a pair of Zori, bamboo sandals, and the young woman tries them on. As she beats the dust from them, the man asks her if she will return his handkerchief, recalling an earlier conversation in which Minami explained that a girl keeping a boy's handkerchief implied that she wished him to court her. Surprised, Minami thanks him and says that yes, she would like to keep it, but their solemn expressions hint that there is something more in their way. Throughout her life since the bombing, a vast line of little things remind the girl of the horror of August the 6th. And when she kisses Uchikoshi, those images raise up before her mind as though it were simply yesterday, rather than ten years ago. Kuno sets up the next three pages with incredible dexterity and power. The majority of the panels are tall and narrow. Japanese writing is primarily vertical, and so the long, straight strips of images create a feeling of a single, endless moment within each frame. The figure of Minami is fighting against it, running headlong up the panel as the words of her memories threaten to drag her down into the darkness that lurks at the bottom of each panel. Kuno gives the impression of desperate hands clawing at the girl's turned back and then wrapping themselves around her fallen form so many years later. Because even though these past moments have occurred in just a few minutes from Uchikoshi's confession, there is undeniably an impression that this woman is still a young schoolgirl trapped in a hopeless, helpless situation that she cannot find her way free of. She falls ill and loses her strength, her vision, and even her hair as the delayed radiation eats at her from the inside. And then, in her final moments, Kuno repeats her earlier trick. Though the panels are empty except for the few words of Minami's thoughts, the shapes of them and the placement of the words indicate so clearly a passage of time that is both inexplicably long and much too quick. Minami's words seem to scream out of the paleness of the page. Happy now?